Hi! Whoa, wait. Now a lot of you saw that. I made a mistake. A big one. It's a, it's a bit ironic. I, even in that video, I made another mistake. I can assure you now that she has the right eyes. Let me show you. Karina, please come on out. In that video, I showed you guys one method of changing the eye color. But another question came up. What about if the irises are completely different? Let's say you had something like the Oshinoko eye. Now what I'm gonna cover in this video isn't the pupil, but you can do the same thing for it. These were my old irises. They're shaped like a flower and I just didn't really want them anymore. I wanted something like this. And the method to do this was super simple. I only had to draw it i didn't have to animate it at all and that is because of the way i set up my hierarchy and the way i rigged only on the warp deformer not on the actual art mesh or art piece if you're someone that already understands live 2d and hierarchies then please skip to this part of the video if you're newer to live 2d let me share an example that may help with understanding hierarchies as you're building your live 2D model, you start to put things in different deformers and it eventually stacks up. You have parents and child. So as you can see here, in this example, both of the shirt's shoulder parts are in the same deformer, meaning that they are both going to move the same way. So they're moving in the sense of this arm. If I were to take this deformer, one of them, and put it in the other arm, now it's going to move correctly all because of this parent hierarchy, the rotation deformer that is telling them what to do. Let me share another example. So this is how the hand rotation moves right now. Very normal. Now, let me put the side of the shirt into the hand rotation deformer. Because the hand rotation deformer is a child of the arm XY, the arm will now move both with the arm rotation and with the hand rotation. This is how it looks with the arm rotation. This is how it looks with the hand rotation. Now it's going to move like the hand. But if I were to take it out and put it in the right spot again, only moving with the upper arm, it no longer moves with the hand. If you set up your deformer right, it helps you save a lot of time and not having to reanimate things. I have a whole video that goes over eye rigging. You can check that out here. In short, finish rigging the eye, select everything in the eye and reflect it. Hit eyeball X. Then for your new eye, you just want to make sure that they are in the right parameter. So if it's everything is in an IR open, switch them to IL open just for the new eye. Okay, so let's assume you have two rigged eyes. They're already blinking and functioning, but they're matching. What about the eye that's supposed to look different? So let's say for me, this specific eye, you see my mouse here? Whoa, 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 whoa. this one is different. So first thing you want to do is you want to select the thing you want to change. So whether that's the iris or the pupil, right click it, see if you can find the part this way. If you can, there you go. You are seeing the warp deformer that it's under. So the art is here. You can see nothing. There's no green parameters being light up because it wasn't being rigged on. Go on the warp deformer right above it. It's green, right? If you rigged it this way, so you rigged it all on the warp deformer, all you will want to do is drag that different eye into the right warp deformer. You don't have to rig anything else. If you did rig on the art piece, then you'll just have to re-rig that part. So whatever is green that's lit up, do the same for the new eye and you should be good. Before you delete the other art piece that you don't want anymore, make sure that you check all the settings so that they match your new eye. Such as, make sure that it is clipped to the sclera. If you can avoid it, I like to rig on warp deformers just so it saves me time, especially for things like this. If you want to have multiple eyes or different irises, it's good to just rig on the deformer. You can also use my other method, which was just using the multiply or screen color. Uh, whichever way works for you, whichever way you feel brings out the best in your eyes. <laughs> and yeah, that's the update. I can't wait to see your different eyes and the different shapes and all the cool things that you guys will do. I wish you so much luck on your journey. Keep going, keep pushing. I know Live 2D can be very frustrating, but the, the stuff that you will come up with is going to be so brilliant. I just want to say thank you again for finding me and 
for subscribing. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs> sounded like Yoshi.